back. So now we are going to add some more things. We have the title, we're going to have the certification uh, and some of the star names on there. OK, so let's go back to the screen. We've got it on there. Let's go back to the screen. Where is the screen gone? Right, let me see if I have to. If I have to share. Yeah, here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go and get the title. OK, the title. So obviously I, you've just shown it. So the best thing to do is when you want to get the title is you go to the font. OK, the font. Uh, obviously Photoshop has a number of different fonts that you can use, uh, but this is more fit for purpose. Uh, and there's even one called horror here. OK, uh, and that actually the first one that I see is actually the, what I like. OK, it's the one I like. Some of them are a bit more to uh, a bit more comic. So I'm going to write in scream. OK, although you guys want to do original titles and stuff. Um, I just think that's going to fit the visuals that I've got, even though there is a screen, <laughs> a screen already. And I'm going to press um, print screen. OK, not download print screen. I'm going to go back to my canvas, but this time what I'm going to do, I, this is how I like to operate. I go to File New, and I like to go to Create, and I go to Edit Paste. Okay, so it's just up on one of these tabs here. Then I will copy it up like this, and then I'll go Edit, Copy, and I'll go back to the canvas, and edit paste. OK. Control T to make it bigger. Control T to make it bigger. OK, and. I'm going to say the size probably. Yeah, I think that's a good size for it there. Let me just make sure it's in the right place. And then when you press enter, it becomes unpixelated. Obviously, we don't want that white background there, so we just go to magic wand. Select the background and press delete. OK, and again. For the inside bits, press delete again. For the inside delete. Let's see if all of it is white because the hand obviously in the background is also white. And I think there's a little bit of white there and that should be all of it. OK, now even though it's a black and white theme, that looks quite good actually, to be honest with you. I'm just going to try and test out the whole thing about Photoshop is that you've got to test things out and see what it's like. So I'm going to go to blending options. I'm going to go to color overlay. OK, and I'm just going to try out and see what red. What red looks like a dark red, maybe. OK. Let's see what a drop shadow looks like. No, not really feeling that. I, I do prefer like a more of a spooky one like that. Let's see what happens if I make it like a grey, you know, make it like a grey drop shadow. Quite like, quite like that. Yeah, so it's not, it's, sometimes it's nicer to do subtle things. Okay. Uh, and let me just get rid of the white here. That as well should be white. Perfect, so that looks quite good, quite nice. I'm now going to go and get my certification. <clears throat> so very simply, you have to go to the tabs. Uh, age film certification. Images. This one's 18. I'm going to use that. So copy image. And I'm just going to paste this one in. I don't really need a new tab. So go back to the magic wand to get rid of the white. And I believe it should come like that. Although this one has. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that because at the top it was cut off for some strange reason. Let me see if if yeah, the image is cut off at the top, so we don't actually want that one. 
OK. Um, what one where the whole of the. I mean, the whole of it can be seen, so maybe this one here. That's better. Put it where it's going to go, so it's going to go to the bottom. The bottom right. And then. Delete. Like that. Uh, and we're going to put a little quote at the top. Change the color of the writing. Maybe change it to white for now. Uh, and I'm just going to get. Well, where's the quotations? The quotations up there. And I'm just going to write the scariest. Film of the decade, OK, which is going to get people to, to, what, to watch it, OK? It's going to grab their attention when they see that. <coughs> the scariest film of the decade. So you need to make that much smaller. So, scariest from a decade goes at the top. Press enter, apply that. Um, obviously, we can't see that properly, so we're going to need to get some sort of shadow or change the color scheme around it. So, going to go to blending options, drop shadow, see what that looks like. All of a sudden, straight away, the drop shadows made it stand out a lot more. Yep. Fantastic. Right. So the scariest film of the decade. Uh, and now I'm just going to put the names on there. Over Sensei. And I'm going to. Oops. Need to change the size of that. <clears throat> so the font there, Oba Sensei. And I think the Oba may need to be a little bit in the middle. That's a bit better. Okay, so we've got that and Breath. Um, Beth. Beth <laughs> I don't know what that name is, but in fact, let's put a I there just to make it stand out a little bit better. Uh, so we've got those two names. We're going to again put a drop shadow there. It should automatically do that. So just so I'm talking it through, Beth Juliet's there, blending options, drop shadow. OK, and this time I'm, well, actually, let me see. I think that's a nice, a nice amount, really. 
see if it, what happens when I go, it goes a little bit darker. <clears throat> On an over sensei, we go and do blending options. Drop shadow. Yeah. Right, so it's now starting to look like a magazine. Oh, sorry, magazine. It's a DVD cover. I think what we need to do is the screen needs to go down a little bit. Oops. <laughs> I did that by accident there, but that looks quite interesting. But I need to get rid of that. So step backwards. Right, so the screen. Okay, where it says screen. I um just going to see if I can move that down a little bit because I think it's a little bit too high. Right, and I'm going to go and get the star ratings. Five star rating sign. So I want five stars on there. Mm. Right, so let me take let me take that copy image and then edit paste. Not sure why it's come. Wait, let me get rid of that. I'm not sure why that's come. Why it's come black. Let me let's copy this image. Edit paste. Yep, let's move this over there. Once again, let's get rid of the back white backgrounds. And another easy way to do it is just go to adjustments and invert. Sorry, press the wrong thing and invert it. OK, and it straight away comes white. You can do color overlay or bucket tool. Gonna make that smaller. Press it, apply. Maybe that's a little bit too big, but I'm going to leave that for now because I don't think I'm going to make it so it's perfect. I'm just going to go to color overlay because maybe make this white or a little bit more white. Mm, maybe not. All right, so I'm going to leave that for now. Um, Let's see if there's any. Well, I think that's it for now to start with. So it's starting to look like a DVD cover. We've got the quotation there. That's going to draw people in. We've got the two images. We've got the the uh, masthead. And I think we're going to leave that for now and then move on to the next things in a second. OK, so let's move on in a second. But it was starting to make it look like a DVD cover. So fantastic. See you in a minute.